Yo guys and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel and on today's video I will be discussing the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market because right now Bitcoin is forming a new symmetrical triangle and this breakout could be resulting in a very significant market movement. So guys if this sounds interesting for you and if you do not want to be fine and missing out about any of the further content here on this channel don't forget to right away slap up that like button, subscribe to the channel and of course ring the bell notification so you will definitely not miss out on any of the further content that we're going to drop out here on this channel but with that being said guys let's jump right away in towards the content so currently we can see Bitcoin is creating a symmetrical triangle here in the market. It has been forming a significant downward sloping trend line here from the top side. This downward sloping trend line has been providing resistance along the way down here. And together with this downward sloping trend line, we are right now as well forming an upward sloping support line with already four touch points. So right now we're forming a very significant symmetrical triangle and this one will be breaking out here in the coming hours ahead of ourselves. To be exact, the apex will be getting reached here in 14 hours from now on and I personally do expect that within from from this hour of recording and this hour of publishing that we're going to be seeing a breakout within the coming 10 hours so yeah today we could be expecting some more volatility and of course depending on which direction we're going to be breaking towards depends on which direction we're going to see the volatility towards as soon as we do break the top side of resistance i do think we could be seeing an uh, we could be seeing an approximately five percent movement towards the upside getting generated and of course that could be uh, yeah bring a lot of wealth to uh, to your position of course if you're going to take a trade i should only look for a trading position as soon as we do break the top side of resistance and retest the um the previous resistance as support on the next one and of course on that range we could be trading all the way up here towards approximately levels around 45,000 US dollars but of course like you can currently see here Bitcoin is right now as well retesting the lower side and if Bitcoin is going to close this one hourly candle below of the support line yeah that we could be looking for a little bit of lower targets depending on when we are going to be breaking out we're going to see an approximately 5.5 percent decrease in price action and Bitcoin could be seeing of course a further continuation down towards lower targets so for me to say I am bullish or bearish will be really determining on whether Bitcoin is going to be breaking out on the lower side or whether Bitcoin is going to be breaking out through the top side. So for me, um, right now it's still a waiting game. As soon as we are going to be breaking out towards either direction, I will be right away drop out another update here for you guys out here on this channel. And of course, as soon as we're going to see some more market volatility, I will be right away smash up that live button here on the channel. So please take your eyes wide open on the market right now because it's going to be extremely important to look at. As well, the four-hourly time frame, we're not seeing a lot of interesting things, even though we have been seeing, of course, a significant amount of bullish diverge getting formed along the way down over here. We could be right now seeing the effect for on getting created here, because we create a lot of bullish diverge over here. Could be leading towards more price action towards the upside getting uh, formed from up this point here. So I definitely do look forward towards where we are heading towards from up this point. As well, daily time frame for Bitcoin. I've been saying it yesterday as well here. Right now we're in a new week. New opportunities, of course, are occurring right now. But the daily time frame for me looks like, of course, a very strong range of accumulation. Bitcoin is currently trading a negative funding rates, like you can see over here. Um, what this basically means here is that the big market makers, the big market traders, are right now trading most most certainly more short so the majority of the money is going uh, is currently trading short and that's why you see only green across the border and everywhere where you see green that token is over leveraged towards the downside and everything what's red is basically over leveraged towards the upside and we can currently see that bitcoin and ethereum is massively over leveraged towards the downside and that is the reason why we are currently seeing negative funding rates and that is once again the reason why i do think right now is a very good accumulation range together with the horizontal range that we're currently retesting so it's definitely a fundamental research it's definitely something that you should take in your analysis funding rates is a very important part in your analysis and if you're not taking funding rates within your uh, analysis, you're definitely going to be missing out on a lot of good uh, trades here. Because right now, this is suggesting me that we are on very good try times where we could be accumulating a swing trade on. Together, on Bitcoin right now, we can clearly see we... Um we opened the CME once again here, and we have been not forming a CME gap. So that's also a pretty positive thing here, since Bitcoin is right now trading on the 41.7k. We do right now have a whole week ahead of ourselves without any CME gaps. Of course, we do still have a CME gap, but that one is, of course, above us here around the 43,000 US dollars. So I'm still waiting for that one as well to be getting filled here. But so far, for the imminent short term, I will be just looking for the symmetrical triangle. So guys, thank you so much for watching once again towards this amazing new update video here on the channel. And of course, as soon as we're going to be breaking out, I will be dropping out another update here, either on my Twitter or here either on my YouTube channel so don't forget to follow me on my socials and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out